And when I weigh in on Monday, there's no telling what the scale is going to say. So weigh in Wednesday should be quite interesting. As a matter of fact, when I get on the scale, instead of it giving me a number, it might say fluffy. <laughs> Girl, you fluffy. Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Saturday, May 7th, and I need to film this quick video so that I have it as a place marker for myself. But I also wanted to share with you guys, this week, I was so freaking tired of diet and exercise. It's ridiculous. So I'm currently in week 48 of my 100 pound weight loss journey. And I will say this week was the first week that I just, mm, I hit a wall y'all. All right, so listen, if any of you guys have ever hit a wall on your weight loss journey, fitness journey, health journey, let's just be real here. Thumbs up this video, let me know I'm not alone. <laughs> Let me know that I'm not alone, but let's talk about it a little bit. So as most of you guys know, I just celebrated my birthday this past weekend. I did lots of hiking, walking each day. I think I nailed like anywhere between 24,000 to 3,500 to 35,000 steps per day. Like we did some hiking, lots of walking. I was so active. I was killing it, killing it. And even with my nutrition, like I fasted throughout the day so that I could have like whatever I wanted for my meal of the day, right? Like still staying away from flour and sugar, but I allowed myself to have whatever I wanted for the day, which I still felt like I was doing well. Like I still had some salads. I was still focusing on my nutrition, making sure I got the good good in, okay? But then let me tell y'all. <laughs> so I returned home back to work and Work was good, but it was extremely busy because we're still admitting a lot of new patients, which is amazing. But guess what else? It was also a great excuse not to work out. <laughs> I skipped my workouts this week. And because I've been away for the last two weekends, one for my birthday, the other for the marriage retreat, I haven't been grocery shopping. You guys haven't seen any hauls, have you? I haven't been meal prepping. Have you seen any meal prep videos? No, because I'm not doing it because I just been slacking off, completely slacking off. I haven't been measuring my food. I haven't, I haven't been getting my 10,000 steps a day. Like, girl, who are you? What are you doing? Do you even want this? <laughs> it's been rough. It's been rough and guess what? So like, Towards the end of the week, I started like getting back into my groove and I created space and time for myself to work out. But guess what I did instead? Laid on the couch and scrolled on my phone. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? Like, you know, like I got dressed and everything. I was dressed for the workout. And then I was like, I'll just sit down for a little bit. And then I started doing stuff on my phone and like totally got distracted. And then I was out of time. Has anyone else ever done that? Just me, just me. <laughs> All right, but what I want to talk to you guys about today is that even when you fall off track, like let's talk about why you need to regroup. Like let's just, you can't just wallow in it. I mean, you can, but you're not gonna hit your goals that way. So let's talk about what I plan to do to correct. I don't know who that girl was last week, this week, but we gotta fix her, we gotta fix her. Okay, so number one, overall, I feel so much better as an individual, as a human being, when I am doing the things that I'm supposed to do, when I'm keeping the promises that I made to myself. I just feel so much better when I'm eating well and when I'm moving my body consistently, so I am going to get back on track. I've already got my workout clothes on. Listen, we're not playing. We are not playing. You had a whole week, Felicia, to get yourself together, like, Let's go. <laughs> Number two, my diet. I have got to get my diet back together. I know that the word diet can be like a trigger word for certain people, but to me, diet is simply the way that I eat. And to be quite honest, me eating in a caloric deficit is what has helped me to reach my goals these 40 plus weeks, okay? So honestly, I have to eat less than what I burn. And I know that that might trigger some people, but it is what it is, like it's science, okay? Don't come for me, come for science. Like, if I eat more than what I burn, I'm going to gain weight. Like, that's just the way that my body works, and it's okay, because I've been doing this for 40 something weeks. I know what I need to do, all right? And for me, I also avoid sugar or flour, I'm not telling you you have to do that, find what works for you, but I know what has been working for me and what has been allowing me to make progress, so I am getting back to my diet you know sometimes people say like don't you get tired of like always having to watch what you eat or don't you get tired of having to like diet and all of that 
honestly, usually, like on a day-to-day -day basis, I never felt like I was deprived or as if I was missing anything. There are lots of meal plans, like there are lots of videos of where I show what I eat. So I typically eat lots of fruit, lots of salads, lots of um, protein. So usually I don't feel like I'm being deprived. It's just this week, I just didn't care. I was like, as a matter of fact, you guys, one night, I even got up at like midnight. I, I usually eat three meals a day. I've also been snacking. Like why, Felicia, why are you doing that? Um, but I got up at like midnight and I had a bowl of watermelon. <laughs> Oh, like part of me could say, are you self-sabotaging yourself? But it's not like this is like, not like the subconscious mind thinking, um, do you deserve it? It's just like, no, I felt like I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. Maybe that's like birthday vibes. I don't know, but I was just feeling like I wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. And that was a part of it. So, yeah, so I am getting back to the way that I eat. I'm getting back to my yummy, yummy salads for dinner. Um, you guys know how I eat. There's lots of videos on the channel. And then number three, another way that I'm going to regroup and refocus is to get back to my movement practice. Whatever that looks like for you, whether it be going to the gym, working out, walking, running, whatever that is for you, do it, okay? Because for me, I have been a sloth this week. I've been a lazy little sloth. <laughs> I have not been moving my body in a way that is productive for someone that is trying to lose 100 pounds. I have been moving my body in a way of someone that, I haven't been moving my body very much. I don't even know what to compare it to. I just don't. But now I'm ready to get back to the organized, where I organize, I schedule my workouts every week. I'm ready to get back to that girl who's super organized, pristine, the woman that moves her body and does at least 10,000 steps per day, the woman that lifts weights one to two times a week, the woman that doesn't eat like a man <laughs> that's trying to put on weight, because that's what I've been doing this week, but a woman that truly believes she was meant to be a mermaid and she wants to be able to swim better and move her body better through water. <laughs> And she wants to be light. She wants to feel airy and light. That is what I'm gonna get back to. And I need to get back to the grocery store and buy all the yummy foods that I need. I need to meal prep. I need to stop tasting my family's food. Why are you doing that, Felicia? You know that is not your food. But I've been, yeah guys, I've been tasting their food. Not like sugar and flour, but like whenever I cook for them, I just been like tasting it. And I don't usually do that, so. I was just being disobedient this week. Like, I need to pray. Y'all pray for me. But honestly though, like, what about you guys? Have you ever just felt like, man, this is trash? Oh, wait, let me get some paper. Have you ever felt like this is just trash? I'm so tired of this mess. <laughs> Have you ever felt that way? Well, I just wanna let you guys know, you are not alone. And to be quite honest, like I said, I think I'm in like week 48. I've been on this journey a long time. And this is the first week where, not the first, but I'll say out of the 48 weeks, 40 weeks at least have been. Yeah, so I'm proud of that. Actually, I'll probably say like 44 have been. But last week was messy. Your girl was extremely messy. But yeah, I just wanna check in, let you guys know I am human too. I try to keep it together all the time. But sometimes I just, I don't, and, and it's so bad for me because I don't even care. That's the bad part about it. But I just wanted to encourage you guys that if you ever fall off or if you find yourself becoming a disorganized, lazy sloth the way that I was, just regroup, refocus, remember why you started in the first place, remember your goals, remember that you're so worth it, and just get back on track. Reach out to a friend, even reach out to me if you need to, or like down in the comment section or wherever. Just remember your goals and remember that you are so worth it. And yeah, thought I'd give you guys a little pep talk. That is all I have for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Go smash them goals, go smash them goals. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know what weigh-in Wednesday is gonna look like, but that should be interesting. I'll see you guys with some grocery hauls, some meal preps. Wednesday, we'll do weigh-in Wednesday because when I weigh in on Monday, mm, the scale might say, instead of giving me numbers, the scale might give me like words, like you big or you fluffy <laughs> or you fluffy. <laughs> 
Bye, guys.